So let's take a look at the tail of the tape for this flyweight contest. And Ireland's Neil Siri is 37. The Brazilian Pantoja is 10 years younger. Pantoja is an inch taller, but more significantly, he will have a three-inch reach advantage. With the official introductions, here's Bruce Buckley. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 16 wins, 12 losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, Neil Tuchat Siri. Fighting out of the red corner. A big martial artist, only professional record. 17 wins, two losses. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Ariel do Cabo, Brazil. Alexandre the Cannibal Pantoja. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Grant Waterman. Our Octagon Ranger is Grant Waterman. Thank you, the lovely Luciana. We're all set for round number one. Maximum three five-minute rounds of inevitably fast flyweight action. Neil Siri on his last outing versus Alexandre Pantoja. He wears the yellow, Siri in the green. They get straight into it. Siri is one of those fighters that always seem to be underestimated, no matter who he's fighting. And it's not until the first round started that people realise he's actually got a lot more to him than you would think. You know, you go back and watch his fight against Chris Beale. In my opinion, it's probably his best performance of his career. A lot of people cast him out of that fight and he looked outstanding. Oh, knocked off balance. Ooh, look at the swagger that Pantoja has as well. Yeah, he fights like a confident young man. Very much so. Rank number 14 right now. Ooh. Taking on the veteran, but it, he said, "Okay, I maybe wanted a, a higher-ranked opponent, and this guy's going away after this fight. But I believe he's going to come with another heart. He's going to want to brawl. I like to brawl, and of course, they might get those fight of the night honors. Leg kick there from Pantoja. Series finding the home for the overhand right. He throws it kind of like an overhand right hook." But it's hands off the temple a couple of times and he works up the body as well he works to works a couple of hooks to the body before he comes over the top to the head to try and draw those elbows of his opponents down to protect their midsection Siri gets oh. clipped there on the chin goes tumbling Pantoja has got a seat front seat belt nicely done there by Siri on the hook to get back to his feet that'll give him some confidence but this is where the fight fans want this contest, Dan. They know what they're expecting from both of these fighters. Really great hands. Pantoja. Lots of activity. Pantoja's got an excellent jab that seems to be catching Siri as he's moving in. Oh, beautiful follow-up punches there. Good countering work by Pantoja. Oh, good shot again. Really nice combination work from Pantoja. Big, powerful right hook, good knees to the midsection. Tight, tight pinch. Look how close his elbows are as yeah. he throws that knee through. You can see how he's muscling Siri around as well. Clearly a strong individual. Does look like the bigger man of the two as well. Three title fights make UFC 214 a must-see pay-per-view event. Cormier Jones, Woodley Meyer and Cyborg Evinger, they headline a three-pack of UFC championship fights from Anaheim, California. Coverage from the Honda Center begins with the UFC 214 prelims on FXX at 8 p.m. Eastern. Siri looking to come in with a rally of punches. But Pantoja is fluttering between punches, kicks and knees. Always throws his strikes in numbers, does Neil Siri, whereas Pantoja's kind of pot shotting at the moment. It was two punches, but the, the left hook to the body was to set the overhand up. Pantoja's come over here with his wife. He's a family man. He really believes that's given his career more impetus, something more to fight for. 
Bruce really investing in those low kicks, slowing down that front leg of Seri, who lands a nice overhand right. Threatens a level change again, just to remind Pantoja that this is an MMA fight. Neil Seri is tied the third most submission attempts in flyweight history, so if it does get down to the mat, he might certainly threaten some arms and necks. A little fact I learned about Neil Seary this week, then he used to be a promising jockey. Is that right? He was when he was a youngster, he used to race horses nearly every week. So he should have pretty good mount control then, good core strength. <laughs> You're always it's thinking of the angle, right? Of course, right? and good at making analyst. weight, and good at making weight as well. And good at making weight, <laughs> love it. Pantoja at the way and yesterday looked like the, the bigger man all yes. round. Certainly did. That was a nice, uh, nice short right, right arm smash to the side of Pantoja's face, knocked him off balance for a second, but Pantoja calls him on. Oh, that was a nice right hand from the cannibal. Siri switching between Orthodox and Southpaw. Switch jumping knee, crept through the guard. There's that jab you were talking about yeah. earlier, Dan, from Pantoja. Very quick off the mark with it, good at stifling his opponent's movement. Last 10. We'll be back with round number two after this commercial break. Stop. All right, Neil. Sit down. Sit down, sit down. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Listen to me. One round to you, pal. Let's get your breathing. Breathe in. And out. Let's slow your breathing down. Plenty of time here. Breathe in. And out. How do you feel? Okay, yeah. Okay, listen. Can you throw that double jab, right hand, you're gonna hit the body then. Okay. Knees. You're picking them apart here. You're doing brilliant. You're doing brilliant. Yeah, you're well. Tá bom, exactly. Como tá se sentindo o gás, tá bom? You need to stay calm, stay calm. But the same work. Tá ganhando o primeiro round. Tá ganhando o primeiro round. You want the first round. You want water? Oh, no clinch. Joel, Joel. Entra o cotovelo depois. Just use the knee. Dana White's Tuesday night contender series continues this Tuesday, July 18th, last week. Two men received UFC contracts. Ready? Ready? Let's find, find out what happens this week. Five live fights each week featuring some of the best unsigned fighters in the world. Dana White's Tuesday night contender series live and streaming exclusively on UFC Fight Pass. Don't miss the action every Tuesday this summer. Talking of action, John, they're straight in in this second round. They both came in and started trading punches, but it was Pantoja that was moving forward behind his combinations and Seri that was being pushed back. Now we see Pantoja in a clinch, trying to bully Seri up against the fence a little bit. Pantoja lives two hours from Rio, and that is his commute to the gym. He did his last part of this training camp at Nova Uniao. The rest of it was in the States, so looking to get a mixture I, I actually saw some photos of him with Henry Cejudo so still maintaining that relationship that he got at the ultimate fighter very confident work in the clinch interestingly between uh, between rounds this is what Pantoja's corner we're telling him work the knees in the clinch you can see the effect that it's having on Neil Seary's midsection already slowly wearing him down forcing him to drop his guard even his head undefended him punching exchanges possibly Nice elbow on the inside from Siri. Siri looking to weave his arm in to that underhook. Get himself off of the fence. Nice work there with that wrist control. And they separate. Resume battle in the center of the octagon. Pretty much every flyweight that Neil Siri has fought, he's put them on their backside. He hits deceptively hard for his frame, that's for sure. But it's because he knows how to sit down on his punches, John. That comes from years of experience. Years of experience starting at fighting in front of small crowds in pubs, Dan. That's how we all start, John. <laughs> Whether the crowd's there before we start or not. Oh dear, speak for yourself. <laughs> 
great work and the clinch from Pantoja. Dana White looking for a fight. He's back. The new episode is available now and free on YouTube. Don't miss Dana, Matt and Dean who head to San Diego where a promising young flyweight gets his big shot. It's Dana White looking for a fight. Available now on YouTube. Siri struggling to find his way out of that clinch, but it was Pantoja that broke to strike. Looking for the body shot. Oh, that was a nice short right and short left hand from Siri. Oh, the team Ryan O corner. Pantoja slapping that leg kick in. Oh, now Siri's looking for a little bit more back. <laughs> You can guarantee though, John, that win or lose, this is the kind of fight that Siri wanted in his last fight. It would have been frustrating to have him taken down and smothered. Paul Redmond in his corner there. A big one till net hook to the body. Where's your rubber glove? Where's your rubber glove? Come on. There you go. He's on the back foot here, Neil. He's on the run. Push, push, push. Hey, there you go. Keep going. There you go. Come on, Neil. There you go. Keep him up. Push, push. So they're basically saying to keep pushing him forward, which is series listening to them very well. They can, they can feel that, uh, that series gathering in momentum and Pantoja potentially slowing down a little bit, although he's still landing good quality shots. It's the work rate of Neil Siri that's slightly higher at the moment. Siri has always said he wants a fight where he doesn't have to find his opponent and he doesn't have to go looking far tonight, Dan. No, Pantoj is right in front of him. The Siri corner asking him to throw the shots to the body and the uppercut as well. Both of these fighters have six knockouts or TKOs on their resumes. And look at this. They're turning this heat up little by little. I do love a flyweight contest. Nice work there with the one-two from Siri. Great work to the body there. Pantoja shakes his head, but oh, and a thuds in a low kick to the thigh of Neil Siri. Now, there is a bit of a difference there. Pantoja is having success with those low kicks, something that, you know, we see the focus of Siri very much being on the hands. Whoa! That got him smiling. Another one of those. He won't be able to smile as wide, though. Last 10 seconds. Another explosive round. We will be back for more after these commercials. Stop. Oh, he sit down. Brilliant. Sit down. Brilliant. All right, let me have a look at your eyes. Oh. Let's breathe. You want to win this fight? Money. Okay. On the front foot, push. Kill him with the body shots. Don't spend so much time in the cage. He lifts up the knee, taking a sweep and taking him down. You're doing brilliant. Very proud of you. You gotta, you gotta believe more in your striking, okay? Don't swing wild. Jab, jab, all around. You're taking all of the... He's so small. He's so short. It's the last round. The, you need to interface the knee and then put the elbow in it. Welcome back to the third and final round of this intriguing flyweight bout between Neil Siri and Alexandre Pantoja. Very competitive, and they get straight into it. Big smile on Neil Siri's face. He knows this is the last five minutes of his career. So why not give it everything you've got? And that's exactly what we're seeing. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Pantoja with the level change. Very interesting. Very smart, Dan. Very. Why take those risks? He clearly knows that Neil Siri is landing some clean shots. Pantoja looking to advance his position. He's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu state champion. Former RFA champion as well. It's very good at all-round game. Neil Siri is threatening off of his back. Again, both fighters with similar stats on their win column. Six submission victories for both. Look at this, Pantoja moving to a quarter guard position. Now, what we have to watch out for, and this is the perfect position to, to transition from. 
is the rear naked choke. Of his six submissions, five of them come from the rear naked choke. So expect him to try and take series back if he scrambles to escape here. Good work progressing to a mounted position. Series trying to drive his opponent's legs away, trying to create some space so he can shrimp his hips through. But Pantoja's just clamped onto him. It's like a fire blanket, isn't he, Dan? Look at the hip pressure and yeah. shoulder pressure as well. It's making that uncomfortable for Siri. Now looking for the opportunity is, to ride that out for the back take. This is Pantoja's game. Catching guys in the scramble. There's the body lock control, the triangle. Puts a lot of pressure on the midsection. Well, during commercial break and between rounds, Pantoja's corner was saying he's so small, he's so little. And of course, if you're trying to get the body lock, that is going to help. Siri doing a good job of controlling the left arm of Pantoja. You can see Pantoja's left arm is actually under the arm of Neil Siri, under the left arm of Neil Siri. And he feels as long as he can control that one hand, Pantoja's unable to finish the rear naked choke. That's a tight body lock where he laces his leg in behind the right thigh of oh, Siri. That looks good, that looks good. He's tightening that in, that's sliding under the chin. Siri's trying to hand fight. There's a oh, wow. Beautiful win. victory for Alessandre the Cannibal Pantoja. That is his seventh career submission win. Very, Very well worked. Intelligent work, switching it up straight for the takedown. And then it was a slow progression until he got exactly what he gets in several of his fights. That really can choke. Lots of respect between these guys. And see how much it means to Pantoja. So our move of the fight is sponsored by Metro PCS, covering 99% of people in the US with a network that's more reliable than ever. Beautiful work here on the takedown. This is really what changed the landscape of the fight. It was very 50-50 up to that point. Uh, Pantoja was dictating the clinch, but the punching exchanges were quite even. But then once he got that takedown, he progressed to mount. He took the back in the scramble and sunk in the rear naked choke. And as good as the hand fighting of Siri was in the beginning, he was able to slide that under the chin. And that slow squeeze was able to get to the jugular and restrict his airways. Beautiful win for a top rank fighter. Very impressive. Forces the tap from Neil Siri. Gets the victory here in Glasgow. Nicely done. We will make it all official after these short messages. Up next, eighth ranked Gunnar Nelson takes on number 14 Santiago Pontanibio plus giant Calderwood battle Cynthia Calvillo. UFC Fight Night continues next on FS1. Time now to get it inside to Bruce Buffer to make this one all official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Grant Waterman has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 31 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner 
by submission due to a rear naked choke. Alessandri, the cannibal, Pantoja! I'm here with your winner, Alexandre Pantoja. I'll have a word with you in a second, Neil, don't go anywhere. That was a tough fight. Some good striking exchanges early on, but you decided to go for the takedown in the end. What, what, uh, what prompted that change? Yeah, he's an amazing guy. This guy is legend. I need a lot of respect. Uh, this fight is amazing for me. This challenge, uh, veteran UFC, it's perfect fight for me now. This fight is very good. I love it, this, this style of the fight. It's a fight, you know. Me and the guy put everything in the cage, put the life in right here. You no know, man, I love it. This take Scotland, ladies and gentlemen, Alexandra Pantoja, and let's have a word with Neil Siri as well. Your last time in the octagon, it didn't go your way, but it was a fun fight, right? And these fans absolutely love you. Talk to me about this experience. Just fantastic. I feel like a one of their own, you know. But it's my time to leave this, you know. I could feel that body was slowing down. He's a heavy hitter, very fast pace. He hits very hard. You know, no excuses here. The young guy, better man, won the night. You know, I'm going to live to fight another day, but just not here. You know, I'd just like to thank all my teammates, my coach, my wife and my ma who travelled over, and my kids at home. Thanks to the UFC and all the sponsors that ever gave me on over the years. We appreciate everything. And thanks to yourself, Dan. So thank you, my friend. We all have a lot of respect for you. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise! Neil to tap Siri. Thank, thank you very much, Neil to tap Siri, for your service to mixed martial arts and good luck in your next ventures. Congratulations to Pantoja for a well-earned victory.